Leviathan is the next coaster I'll be talking about in my coaster review section. And this is a great ride. It opened in 2012, and it is definitely the best ride at Carowinds. And um, if you might know that this is, like, so what Ca uh, Carowinds Wonderland basically gets all the time is they basically get prototypes for other parks. I mean, like Leviathan, it was a prototype. I mean, it wasn't, like, they were just, it was B&M's first Giga Coaster and that is to lead up to what Fury 325 is right now at Carowinds. So this coaster definitely um, isn't as good as Fury, but still is going to deliver a great ride experience. Like I said, it is... It was just um, B&M's first Giga Coaster, and they were still finding out what they could improve on, and that's what they did to Fury 325. So what I'll be doing today is I'll be going through the whole ride and giving you my full thoughts on it and how I liked it. Now the stats are to come first, and of course this coaster is located at Canada's Wonderland. It is made by B&M, one of the best manufacturers of all time. It is 306 feet, 1 foot taller than I-305 at King. Dominion and it is 92 miles per hour. Now, like I said, this is a giga coaster, you're gonna have uh, really big stats, and there's no exception to this one 300 feet. This is for all giga coasters, and now you're gonna have no inversions, of course. And you're gonna have a length of 5,486 feet, which is actually. I mean, like this coaster is actually not the longest ride at all. It's actually pretty short. It's a really long track length, track length, but it's just you're going through that whole course so fast. So it really does feel like, like it's very short. And like, like I said, I mean, I mean, like in the like, if you get to the back, I was actually very surprised with this. Like when you're getting to the very end of the ride, it starts to slow down a lot. I bet it's because of the uh, trims on the airtime hills. But I mean, it really just does slow down. I mean, just going over those, like that, like going through that last big airtime hill and then that bank and into the brakes. It really just does slow down there, and it's a very, it's very. I mean, like, that's what they did to Fury 325. Well, Fury 325, it's, like, full speed through the whole thing. And that's what I love about Fury 325, is this ride is a prototype for Fury. So, I mean, like, for the back and the front, I mean, I always look at, I mean, like, I all, like, for me, <clears throat> my personal opinion, I always like, um, the, I always like the front more than the back. It's just, like, for, like, airtime coasters, like this one, like, you can get some airtime on this ride, some nice floater airtime. But, like, I like the front first on airtime hills just because you're the first one to get over that. But, it, it like, on most coasters, it doesn't really take a long time for you to go over and go down after that airtime hill. So, you don't really just wait for the other back to go over it. I, I really do like back, but I'm saying that, like, the front is better. You're just going to have the first one to go over the airtime hills. And, like, on this ride, Leviathan, you just have the wind rushing through your face. And that's what I think, uh, that's what makes the front row better for me. Now, I'll be going through the whole ride and giving you my thoughts on the whole layout and every single element. So, of course, you're going to leave the station, go out and back around. And then you're going to go up this lift hill. Now, you're going to get some great views up here. It's, it goes up pretty fast for 306 feet tall. It's, it goes up pretty fast, but then you're going to get to the top. You're going to get some great views here. Don't stay at the top for long just because you're going to be going down that drop. But you're going to get some great views of all of Canada. You can see Toronto, and it really is just a great view, great sight. And I'm saying it's probably the best view in the park, from my opinion. But then you're going to go down, you're going to go through this drop, and this is an insane drop. And this is definitely one of the elements on this ride that um, is as good as Fury 325. The drops on Fury 325 and Leviathan are absolutely insane. You're going to be going through, it's just massive. It feels like you're going down it forever. And they have it's just some great drops, and they're gonna go through go through this tunnel, which isn't really thing, but just a tunnel with a little Leviathan on it. I mean, like it's not this pain of Leviathan on it. I mean, like it's not the best theming. Like the theming on this coaster isn't the best, but it still has like the loose theme you would want, like a theme to a Leviathan, like it's this uh. Leviathan, so that's what the theme is, but then you're going to go down and go through that tunnel, and then you're going to go through the first bank, which is also very similar to Fury 325's Great Element, and then you're going to go down and go through this little pop of a director airtime, you're going to be speeding through it, 
go through that trajectory every time. Hill, very nice, very like if you're in the front, that's a great element, one of the best elements of the ride. But then you're gonna go through the biggest airtime hill in the whole ride this is a floater airtime hill and you really are just going to be floating on your seat i really do love this element it definitely is one of the best parts of the ride and like i mean i like people would say i mean this is very similar it's like an upscale bnm hyper that's what it is i mean they have behemoth in the same park this is upscale behemoth i mean just because it's kind of an out and back layout it's not really like a giga coaster layout it's just out and back but it's still i it's like upscale hypercoasters, I guess, are good. So, um, and you're gonna go through good that airtime hill, and then you're gonna go through this big bank turn at the very back. You're gonna be getting some great views right when you enter the park, and then you're gonna go back down, go under yourself, and then you're gonna bank around, go over the pathway, bank around, and then you're gonna go through another airtime hill. Um, very solid airtime very solid airtime, uh, but you are going to have a trim break on that, which is a little disappointing, but it's still very solid element. You're going to go up, and you're going to go through, this This is where like really gets slow, um, like slower than it has been through the whole ride before. I mean, you're just going to go up, it's going to have a very like slow bank turn, but then after that, you're going to go to the brakes, which you may not think of brakes will be like this, that high, but like this, these brakes are really high. You're going to go up, like, these brakes are higher, like, are taller than the coaster right by it, Dragonfire, which is really insane. Like, for a coaster's um, brake run to be taller than another coaster, which is standing right next to it. I mean, I mean, it, it's weird, but I mean, like, have the brake run that tall, I have no clue why they would do that, but whatever. And then you're going to go up, and you're going to hit the brake, and then you're going to go down a little bit, keep going the brakes, and then you're going to roll into the station. Now, this is a great case, you guys. I definitely recommend it. Now, what you should probably do is, like, I, I wrote it in, like, very in the morning, like, right when we nearly got there, and near the afternoon, which I'm saying that you should definitely ride it later in the day, just because it will be, like, warming up later, and it'll be speeding through the course way faster. So, it's time for my overall score, and I'll be giving this coaster a very solid score of a 9. I mean, I was expecting it to be a little better, but I mean, I, I knew it was the prototype for 325, and that's what led it to have this score. So, hope you guys enjoyed this review of Leviathan, the BNM Giga Coaster at Canada's Wonderland, and hope you guys enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more videos coming here to Coaster Productions, and I'll see you guys later.